Welcome from Iowa. Mr. Nunn, you're recognized for five minutes. Well, first of all, thank you very much, Chairman. Thank you to the Natural Resources Committee. Thank you to our ranking members here. Mr. Chairman, I also just want to highlight here how fantastic the Natural Resources Committee has been on standing up for American energy independence and really being a driving force in this conversation with the House to make sure that America and Americans can continue to have the type of energy that drives not only our economy, but makes it so that every family like my own and Mr. Stavers gets the opportunity to you know, take our kids to soccer practice and just commute within our own communities to really grow in a very important way. As a member of the House Ag Committee and in the Farm Bill year that is coming up, I know how important it is to take advantage of every opportunity to discuss what falls within the jur jurisdictions of both natural resources and the Ag Committee. Uh, and these conversations are crucial as we share our priorities. Uh, Mr. Chair, you probably know Iowa is known for a number of things, world-class wrestlers, amazing girls college basketball, and our incredible farmers who are leading the charge here in growing America's corn and soybeans. In fact, every other row of crop is either being grown to feed the country or fuel the country. And so I'm here to just really highlight the important role that biofuels help play in supporting countless jobs to reduce prices at the pump for Americans, as well as provide billions of dollars in exports that help grow not only America's economy, but create a much more stable world. In 2022 alone, the ethanol industry provided nearly 80,000 US jobs and 34 billion in household income and contributed to 57 billion in the nation's GDP. And if that's not enough, ethanol reduces greenhouse gas emissions by up to 52% when compared to gasoline. On average, biodiesel and renewable diesel provide a greenhouse gas emission reduction of 74%, massive. The biofuel industry that drives Iowa and the Heartlands community economy is vital to our nation's energy independence and our national security. And that's why I fought to protect critical clean energy tax cuts during Congress's debt limit negotiation to continue to fight on behalf of Iowa's biofuel industry and our farmers and make sure that that's included in the 2023 Farm Bill going forward. Our farmers and producers not only feed and fuel the world, but are ensuring that our national security remains independent from foreign actors. It's important that we have their backs to include them in the conversations on appropriations measures in the 2023 Farm Bill. And I've joined with my colleagues to co-sponsor legislation such as the Next Generation Fuels Act, the Consumer Fuel Retailer Choice Act, the Cost Act, and others to boost production of these important fuel sources. Further, I've worked to hold the Biden administration accountable to their promises. Uh, during a recent hearing we had with the House Ag Committee, I questioned the EPA's Environmental Protection Ad Agency Administrator, Michael Regan, about their promises to follow through on the year-round sale of E15, something they were not inclined to do. But with just days to spare before we turned off the pump on ethanol, Regan and I had a direct conversation of what the impact meant to our nation's economy if the Biden administration turned off biofuels. And I'm proud to say that the sale of E15 was reinstated just in time to go with their long-term strategy uh, and commitment to permanent year-round E15 sales starting in 2024. So Mr. Chairman, to the committee, thank you. I think it's clear that our farmers and our biofuel producers are stewards not only of our natural resources, but also provide innovative solutions to our nation's fuel needs. Biofuels are good for the environment, they're good for America, they're good for our national security. It's crucial that members of this committee both uh, understand but also appreciate the role that renewable fuels play in ensuring America's energy success and independence by lessening our reliance on bad actors. And as a military member who has flown more combat operations than I care to remember over the Persian Gulf, providing a canopy of safety for other nations to have access to energy, it only makes sense that our taxpayers, that our growers, our farmers, have the opportunity to enjoy and reap the benefit of an energy that's produced in an all of the above solution right here in the United States, growing right out of our black soil in America. So I urge my colleagues on both sides of the aisle to support our farmers and biofuel producers in advancing legislation that expands and enhances our biofuel program. And with that, Mr. Chair, thank you so much for all you do on the Natural Resources and uh, your team here today. I yield back. Gentlemen, yields back, and Mr. Nunn, thank you for coming uh, to testify today. I've had the good pleasure of attending the Iowa State Fair, which uh, really highlights what I think everybody knows about Iowa. It is a, an ag powerhouse, uh, but it's also a, an energy powerhouse. And even when you talk to 
petroleum refiners, they will talk about the importance of, of ethanol produced in the U.S. and the importance it plays in blending and to meet all the requirements uh, that they have. Uh, and also, uh, we work very closely with your Committee on Agriculture. Chairman Thompson and I have had several meetings about the Farm Bill, and we appreciate the work that you and he do there. And uh, when you talk about energy and energy independence, uh, you'll find, I think, um, most of my Republican colleagues and a lot of my Democrat colleagues on this committee um, believe that we need all kinds of energy. It's an all of the above approach and realize that we can't uh, meet our demands just on renewables alone, uh, but they play an ever increasing important role in, uh, in meeting our country's energy needs. And obviously Iowa plays an important role in that. Um, Mr. Stauber, did you have anything? All right. Well